that semicircle to thimble shaped planting of ornamental cabbage and ah, kale. Excellent. So you've got the uh, ornamental cabbage uh, and kale that is, they're, they're relatively similar, they're so similar we just decided to put them both together. These can be planted in our region and, uh, in the fall and they'll provide a nice uh, coarse texture uh, color throughout the entire winter. And one of the few things that actually will handle a lot of that cold that we have uh, taken and not look much the worse for the bear. Okay. Notice that uh, this particular uh, cabbage is it's kind of got a, a dark or a, a green color at the base with a variegated white color that occurs in the middle, sort of a ring around, and then the, the uh, uh, foliage at the apex is green again. So it makes a nice little variegated uh, touch. Okay? Uh, a lot of times the cabbage will be much thicker, and more uh, cup-shaped, the foliage is. Uh, or I shouldn't say much thicker. Just a, a, a cup-shaped foliage, kind of almost like that. It makes a head, like a, like a head of lettuce or a head of cabbage that you would buy in the grocery store. And one thing you, you should feel this particular uh, plant because it does it does feel like what cabbage that you buy in the grocery store. And then you see that uh, a lot of these ornamental vegetables and things that we plant out kind of look similar, but if you if you feel them, they have a a unique. Mm -hmm. Sort of feel to them. All right, so this is kind of rubbery, almost uh, an oily feel to it to some extent. Okay. Now, this particular uh, cultivar would be one that is uh, selected for its obviously its color combination, but also its dissect leaf. Okay. You'll notice that again, most of the cabbages have the, the typical head shape uh, foliage, and then the kale will be a little bit more. Um, I guess uh, ovate or, or oblong to some extent. Okay, so so you can tell the difference between the two. It's not all that important. It's just you just need to know for this particular class that this is uh, ornamental cabbage or kale. Okay. Do you have the right kale in the test? Mm -hmm. I don't particularly care. The one. Said, pick, huh? I'm sorry. Typically, what you're going to see out here is ornamental cabbage. Is it edible? Is it edible? Uh, I don't think it would hurt you. It just doesn't taste very good because it's they they haven't bred it for flavor or for nutrition. They bred it for ornamental characteristics. So this is more typical of kale or cabbage. This is a little more typical of a cabbage because of the head type and things like that. It, it's still, although it's dissecting, it's still a little bit more uh, of a head type than the, than the traditional kale. Okay. Now this also can be a biennial in that it grows uh, in, a, uh, in a more favorable environment. It would grow uh, vegetatively for one year and then send up a shoot the next. In this particular, in our climate, it grows all winter here and then when the, the warm temperatures of spring come, this will send up a two to three foot tall flower spike that has yellow flowers just like typical uh, brassicaceae uh, uh, plants do. And by that point in time, they've pretty well uh, lost any functionality that they ever had because once they send up their flower spikes, they're not they're going to produce any more vegetation. Not, or the vegetation that they do produce is going to be pretty good for them. Okay. So once these begin to flower, just be prepared to go ahead and bring something else in and plant something else. Okay? Anything uh, below zones eight, and you can grow these through the winter, anything into zone seven and north, they will eventually get bit by a cold. Okay.